You haven't bought all your treats for Halloween just yet. You might want to pick up more than just candy this year. The Teal Pumpkin Project takes place every Halloween, aiming to help trick-or-treaters living with food allergies. Cardio 13's Paige Reynolds explains what the Teal Pumpkin Project is and its importance for parents and children this year. One in 13 children face food allergies, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And Halloween, a holiday celebrated with various types of candy, can leave some kids feeling left out. To combat that, you might see teal pumpkins like this one on porches. Tonight, the Teal Pumpkin Project is one initiative meant to make trick-or-treating safer and more inclusive for kids with food allergies. Today, a teal pumpkin can be placed outside a home or on the doorstep to indicate you have non food treats available for trick-or-treaters. And so when I was a kid, you know, I did the whole Halloween thing and then all my candy was gone by the end of that because I couldn't eat any of it. And so it was kind of a bummer. So I'm trying to um, make the experience for kids now a little bit different. Kid crafts, books, and toys are a few options trick-or-treaters might see in a teal pumpkin. Allergists say some of the most common food allergen ingredients in candies given out during Halloween include peanuts, tree nuts, milk, soy, and eggs. For this reason, they say there's important steps to take before heading out. Uh, number one, keep your EpiPen with you. Uh, number two, try to eat those foods that only have a label uh, ingredient uh, label, so you can read the label, make sure that it's safe, uh, and then don't eat any foods just out on the trail. To find where teal pumpkins are placed around Colorado Springs, you can go to our website, that's caregeo.com. Reporting in studio, Paige Reynolds, Caregeo 13. Employees to use work-based health insurance might start have the, having to pay more soon. Why experts are warning of an increase in 2024. Plus, in today's school buzz, how one local school hosted a Halloween event that offered something for the whole family. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Thank you to everyone that joined KRDO at Family Fest to learn about forecasting our weather. Here in Colorado Springs, it's raining tacos. News Channel 13 is once again KRDO 13. You've known us all along as KRDO, and now it's official. KRDO 13 is back, and it's good to be back. Smile from ear to ear Cause they know that Santa's near Christmas is my favorite time of year Experience so much Christmas